Opening of the 28 game bowl schedule, and here we go. Tommy West getting his Memphis Tigers pumped up. You better have fun out there tonight, or I'm gonna be real mad at y'all see. We're having the best time you've ever had playing the game of football. If you don't have fun, I'll kill you. Here's the tail of the tape. Active NFL alumni, Memphis with a clear edge going in. First quarter. We got a third and five scenario. Danny Wepright, Darren Garcia, 63 yards. They would score on the drive, and it's 7-3 Memphis. Wepright, who grew up in New Orleans, 17 of 23, 254 yards. Got Chris Kelly here in the second quarter on third and six, and it's 14-3 Memphis. Third quarter, North Texas down 17-3. Patrick Cobbs busts it. He finished with 23 carries for a buck 10, but he was averaging 157 per game. That was tops of the nation. Mean Green within seven. Fourth quarter, though, Lakendis Cole. Memphis wins. It's the Tigers' first bowl game victory since the 1971 Pasadena Bowl. And Tommy West, they had fun after. I want to make sure it's not just about Ben Roethlisberger because Miami, Ohio has had a terrific season. The Red Hawks won 12 straight. They won the MAC. They've been blowing everybody out. Average margin of victory, 26 Thursday night, facing Louisville in the GMAC Bowl on ESPN2. A chance for their first bowl win since the 1975 Tangerine Bowl. But Roethlisberger is the headliner here. This guy's pretty good. 15 touchdowns and just one pick in his previous four games. And if you haven't seen him yet, Pay attention because there's a great chance now he will be the first quarterback selected in the next NFL draft. Yes, even ahead of Eli Manning, maybe. Miami, Ohio, and Louisville. Campus is only two hours apart, but in Mobile for their first ever meeting. Bob Davies saw Roethlisberger loves him. Ben Roethlisberger is a first-round draft pick, in my opinion. Maybe a top five or top ten pick. This guy is for real. I think he'll put on a show tonight on a nationally televised stage for this country to watch. Bob Davey nailed that call. First quarter, Roethlisberger, he's great on the run. End zone for Michael Larkin. Escapability. 7-0 Red Hawks. Roethlisberger, a redshirt junior, three-year starter, so he's got some options. It's Martin Nance there. Nance, nine catches for a buck 69. Top 10 nominee, Roethlisberger. We told you, great on the run. Matt Brandt, 28-7 Red Hawks. Roethlisberger broke Mac records for single-season completions, yards, and total offense. Here he finds Michael Larkin, 35-7. Look at these first-half numbers against Louisville. 16 of 20, 290, four touchdowns. Big 12 officials were doing this game. And here's what they told Miami, Ohio head coach Terry Hefner. Happy with the way our offense played the first half. Big 12 officials said they think there should be a recount for the Heisman. <laughs> no Jason White. Roethlisberger, fourth quarter. Stephon LaForce, Matt Pusateri. Defense helping out Big Ben. Hefner said Roethlisberger's decision to go pro was as good a kept secret within the team as President Bush's Thanksgiving Day vacation to Iraq. After the game, Roethlisberger stepped in front of the podium and he went public. After thorough discussion with my family and coach and a great deal of deliberation, I decided to make myself eligible for the 2004 NFL Draft. He's phenomenal. I know I love him. There's my, my real son, but I love him like a son. Started the season with a loss to Iowa, then won 13 in a row. Red Hawks, big time, 49-28. And to the college kids, NC State star quarterback Phillip Rivers playing in the Mazda Tangerine Bowl against Kansas. Took him a whole 62 seconds to get on the board. Rivers to Richard Washington, 7-0 Wolfpack early. 51 seconds left of the half, 21-10. Rivers on the roll and throwing and completing the T.A. McClendon, Rivers' third touchdown pass of the game in the fourth quarter. This would be his fifth touchdown pass of the game to Jericho Cotchery. Cotchery would pass Torrey Holt for most receptions to end Steve State history. Both got a hug from Chuck Amato. What a statement to make to for a quarterback get like Phillip, who uh, has been the foundation of this program. I told him when he came out, I just hope we can put the second and third floor in this building. Again, Rivers, 475 yards and five scores, both Tangerine Bowl.
TCU for the first ever Plains Capital Fort Worth Bowl. Ryan Dinwiddie, most efficient passer in 1A history. Second quarter, third and four. TJ Acree, first down. Mark Walker got turned around here, allowing Acree to be open for the catch. Eight catches, 150 yards for Acree. Dinwiddie, he's a good one. Very next play from scrimmage, 54 yards. Jeff Carpenter, the running back, splits the two deep coverage. And he scores, except for the BCS championship game between Oklahoma and LSU, no other bull has two teams with as few as two losses combined. And look at Gary Patterson get into Walker for that coverage. You know, when angered, Horned Frogs can squirt a fine four-foot stream of blood from their eyes, and it looked like that's what the coach was doing. This will also get him going. David Michael, 75-yard touchdown run and the top 10 nomination. This game is tied at 21. I'm all over the Horned Frog. Did you make that up about the I actually line? looked that up. Nick Brown, 32 yards. TCU goes up 24-21 late in the second. More on Brown later. Looked fine there, though, didn't he? Fourth quarter, Boise State down for Dinwiddie. Going to Derek Showman, 18 yards. Dinwiddie, 19-35, 325 yards, three touchdowns. Boise State up 34-31. Here we are, 229 left. Fourth and 10, Brandon Hassel, Reggie Harrell. Big catch, first down on the sideline. There's Brown, 28 field goals made this season, second in the nation. He's an All-American. He's good to go, right? Fourth and one. Lonta Hobbs up the middle. Just gets the first down, and there's Patterson. Squirting that fire from his eyes. Yeah, coach. Mike Wynn. Wait, he's not Nick Brown. He hasn't kicked a field goal all season. What he? What's he doing? 51 yards to tie the game. Win. Wow. Not enough leg. Coach Patterson. What happened to your kicker, Brown? He pulled a quad receptor and a quick kick pass to about 25 yards. He's been hurt all week, and we, we just didn't tell anybody. He couldn't, he couldn't kick it deep, so we had to bring in Mike Wynn. The Broncos win the ball game. They've won 24 of their last. Thank you, gentlemen. Oregon State against New Mexico, and the guy with the great hair is junior tailback Steven Jackson, a Las Vegas native. Talking Corvallis is that he's going to go pro. Number 34 decided a pretty good way to end his college career if indeed he does leave. Starts things out with a 34-yard touchdown reception. Then he's part of a flea flicker. Derek Anderson, Mike Hass, he has a touchdown, 17-7 Oregon State. Now back to the Steven Jackson show. This was his third touchdown of the game. Came before the half. Oregon State in control over the Lobos. In the third quarter, Jackson, a National Honor Society member in high school, mashes his way into the end zone. His fourth touchdown. Fourth quarter, fourth and goal. His fifth touchdown. Ties a Division I record. The Beavers blow out the Lobos 55-14. to Jackson finishes with 149 yards four rushing touchdowns and one receiving. The Lobos couldn't get anything done offensively, just six first downs and 133 total yards. And as for Jackson, he says he enjoys playing video games, talking on the phone, and breaking records. Well, the two-time pack Extra security at Aloha Stadium after a threat was phoned in. They had snipers perched and ready. Fortunately, not necessary. Jason Wielden got the start over that fella, Timmy Chang, but Wielden got dinged up, and so in the second quarter, Chang is in. This is his first play of the game. Hawaii's down 10-3, and he's airing it out to Clifton Herbert. Oh, Swerve gets his on. 48 yards. We're tied at 10. Houston comes back with 10 more points, up 20-10, and Chang. Goes long again. Jeremiah Cochran, five catches, 164 yards. It was 20 to 13 at the half. Third quarter, Chang only knows one distance, and that's long distance. Cochran right there splits the two deep coverage, 66 yards. That lead to a touchdown and a tie ball game. Fourth quarter, 27s. Chang to Jason Rivers. Member of the Polynesian Club. Now he's a member of the Touchdown Club, 34-27. 29-yard field goal to ice it with a minute left. Hooked. And Houston has one last chance. And Hawaii, we have a problem. A third and 11. Cobb to Vincent Marshall. Kevin Cobb, two touchdown passes. Marshall, eight catches, 161 yards. 81 right there. Pulled the hammy. We go to overtime. First overtime. Chang, Britt Komine. 41-34 Hawaii after the pass. Houston, their turn. Anthony Evans into the end zone. Let's do another overtime. 
Houston scored. Hawaii needs to get on the board, and it's Rivers, the true freshman. Chang's fifth touchdown of the pa uh, pass of the game, tied for the second most ever in a bowl game. Hawaii's first possession of the third overtime. Michael Brewster ran for 80 yards. Hawaii misses the two-pointer. You have to go for two after three overtimes, or in three overtimes. Houston, fourth and five. That's not going to get it done. Not a first down. Hawaii wins the ball game. Then after the game, all the aloha that these two had for each other is gone. The luau, forget about it, canceled. We arrow Damian West right there. The first thing in a fight, never take your helmet off. And then never get into a bunch of Polynesians like that, brah. Hawaii wins it, 54-48.